today's video, I'm going to be discussing Mistborn Era 3, what we know about it, as well as speculating what direction it may take the overarching story. To be clear, Mistborn Era 3 is still a long way off. So all the information I'm going off of are teases Brandon has given us over the years. I will try and date the info, just keep in mind that plans change. So the books Brandon envisioned one year ago, five years ago, and ten years ago may not be the Mistborn Era 3 books we actually end up getting. That being said, in a recent live stream, Brandon once again referenced that Mistborn Era 3 has been outlined for a very long time. I'm looking forward to writing the, the next era of Mistborn since that one's been planned for a long, long time. And Wax and Wayne kind of got in the way, even though I love Wax and Wayne, of doing this one. This one's been outlined for way longer mm -hmm. than Wax and Wayne. And so it'll be nice to be able to get to that. Which could indicate that the info I go over in this video will at least somewhat be an accurate representation of what to expect for Mistborn Era 3. <laughs> In a very recent interview with the 17th Shard, Brandon casually dropped the series name for Mistborn Era 3 being Ghostbloods. This revelation excited me quite a bit, but if I take a step back, the name isn't all that surprising given that in Rhythm of War, Shallan has, as Brandon himself put it, declared war with the Ghostbloods. And it also makes more sense as to why the Ghostbloods have a considerable role in the Lost Metal, which will likely be the last Mistborn book we get before Era 3. So setting the groundwork for the Ghostbloods in Era 2 will make seeing them more prominently in Era 3 less jarring. During this reveal, Brandon also shed some light on how if Mercy would have joined the Ghostbloods, we wouldn't have seen her anyway since it's 70 years in the future. Granted, he also didn't confirm that she's dead, so who knows. In a WAB from 2016, Brandon references Era 3, claiming that as of then, Era 3 will follow a Terrace woman and her brother through the beginnings of early computer programming. In many, many more instances, Brandon has stated how Era 3 will be comparable to our 1980s in terms of technology. In 2020, during one of his live streams, Brandon describes what Era 3 might feel like if it were made into a different media, such as a TV show or film. I'll go ahead and play the clip. Um, Era 3, I have to write. I have to see how Era 3 turns out. Um, as I've told you before, um, I envision them as Mistborn spy thrillers. Um, Mistborn, you know, Tom Clancy, Mistborn, Mission Impossible kind of mashup sort of things. Um, and so they're probably going to be paced and plotted more cinematically, uh, which would, would mean features. In 2016, Brandon is asked what book he is most excited to let us read, and in it he mentions Mistborn Book 10, which would be the finale to Mistborn Era 3. From this, I think we can infer that the ending to Ghost Bloods must be very satisfying or have some major ramifications in store for the Cosmere as a whole. In 2018, during a con, Brandon talks a bit about his outlining process and in it mentions his outline for the Mistborn Saga, with Era 3 returning to the length of Era 1 books. Interestingly, he also teases how in Era 3 he will use in-world comic books as a fun little gag in the trilogy, similar to the broadsheets from Era 2. These comic books will be based on Wax and Wayne, and will have different iterations similar to how comic books are constantly shifting artists and getting rebooted, which is quite meta, and I'm here for it. There are many wads teasing how Mistborn Era 3 will feature Kelsier, who is apparently perturbed which I double checked the definition of, and it means feeling anxiety or concern, unsettled. I can't imagine what the leader of the Ghostbloods, who is stuck on Scadrial, and at odds with his old friend, who is essentially the god of Scadrial, possibly could be perturbed about. Oh, I guess it could also be the ever-looming threat of Trell, an avatar of autonomy who, according to multiple other wobs, will make a much grander return in Era 3. With all this information in mind, I'm going to make some, most likely, bad predictions of what will happen in Mistborn Era 3 Ghostbloods. If nothing else, it will be interesting to come back to this list and see if I got anything correct. Keep in mind that some or most of these will seem a bit fan y but that's what happens when you're the fan and not the writer.
I think it's safe to say that based on the ending of the Lost Metal, Mistborn will make a return for Era 3, which means an increase to power levels. Already somewhat confirmed, but expanding Allomancy for the new era would be intriguing, especially if Brandon can make computing relevant to it. Although that may be a bit more something for the cyberpunk era should we get it. I don't expect as big of changes as we got for era 2, but this is a new era and Brandon is a master at magic systems. In between Allomancy, Hemlurgy, Ferrochemy, and Medallions, on top of the increase in technology, Brandon has a lot to play around with. Perhaps too much. I think in a lot of ways, Mistborn Era 3 is going to harken back to Era 1, even more so than Era 2 did. I believe that Marsh and Kelter will both be much more relevant and we will see them interact with each other. This is slightly more on the wish fulfillment side, but I would like to see POV chapters from Kelsier and or Marsh. I think that their interactions would be intriguing seeing how even in death Marsh can't escape his little brother, who essentially one-ups him in everything from getting the girl, escaping the pits of half sin, and returning as a misborn setting into motion the fall of the final empire, and now thriving in immortality. I also would like to get some answers regarding their past and relationship toward Mare, who apparently they were both in love with. So basically, I want Stormlight style flashbacks, having a more personal look into Kelsier's past, seems like something that should happen, especially since Mare is still influencing Kelsier all these years later. There are some popular theories about villainizing Sazed with Harmony becoming Discord. As of now, Sazed seems to be having issues with the Shard's intent, pushing him toward an action. So I'm hoping that the whole intent of a Shard is a bit more complex than if you're the vessel for too long, you become evil. Because in my opinion, that's a bit boring. However all that gets resolved, I'm predicting that Sazed will not die a villain. He is, after all, the Hero of Ages. Plural. So he kind of has to live up to that name. In fact, I don't think Sazed will die. I'm assuming since it's the 1980s themed, we will mirror Earth even further and we will see a Cold War between Elendel and Southern Scadrial, which means a greater focus on Southern Scadrial in general, so I imagine the medallions will make a prominent return to the plot. Brandon has described Era 3 as a spy thriller, and the Chondra are excellent spies, so I expect to see some Chondra shenanigans. Perhaps a Chondra is used to infiltrate Southern Scadrial. I expect Autonomy, Sazed's Intent, and Southern Scadrial to all be dealt with by the end of the trilogy. I also think that since Brandon teased the end of this trilogy being significant, that some fancy shard stuff is going to happen that I'm going to be impressed by, but can't possibly predict. Oh, but Shallan is somehow going to be involved because I like Shallan. And no, I have no idea how that could fit into the timeline. Era 3 will once again feature a female protagonist, and I'm hoping she's a bit younger as a sort of nod to Vin from Era 1. It will have some sort of a team-up, mentorship, or training arc under Marsh. There are words of Brandon saying how the main character will have a brother, and I don't think he makes it very far into this trilogy. I think similarly to Vin's, this brother has got to go. Tensu never got to see Vin again in the Hero of Ages, and in Era 2 he obviously still cared for his old master. And while I don't believe there's any feasible way he can have a moment with Vin herself, perhaps this new protagonist reminds him of Vin in some way, and we get a touching moment.
I believe at some point in this trilogy, Kelsier will believe that Harmony needs to be taken out back for the good of Scadrial. Whether it be an argument of what to do about Sazed, should his shard continue to influence him, or something else entirely, Kelsier and Marsh will have a physical confrontation. Neither of them will die from it, but it will be epic. Our main character will stop Kelsier from doing something regrettable because she will remind him of Vin. I'm in the minority and actually like Era 2 more than Era 1. That being said though, there is no denying that Era 1 had some insane plot twists and I expect Era 3 to have something on par. In Mistborn Era 1, each book perfectly built upon its predecessor with some excellent foreshadowing and planning. I agree with the consensus that since Brandon has had an outline forever and is going to be writing these books closer together, that we will get a more epic scale series more similar to Era 1, where each book feeds directly into the next. <laughs> No matter what happens in Era 3, I'm excited. With Stormlight coming out in 2024, I can't imagine seeing a Ghostbloods book until 2026. And I'm willing to bet the Cosmere crossovers are going to continue their trend of being exponential. Which might be controversial, but I'm here for it. I imagine I will have to make an updated video to this once Brandon actually begins writing the series. For more Cosmere invested content, consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time. Oh, 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 oh,